Mr. Clever. But Roger Hope puts Mr. Clever. Clever. Mr. Clever was quite the cleverest person. The cleverest person in the world. And he knew it. Oh, I'm so very clever. He used to say to himself more often than not. Live in clever. And where? I see may know everybody and everything in as clever as, as can be. Everybody and everything is as clever as can be. Very clever. We clever like clever trees. Managed to grow apples and oranges at the same time. Can clever win? Clever flowers get up and go for a walk. Clever worms try to run in cars all day. Clever elephants play tennis. Oh yes, Cleverland is quite the most clearest place. Would you like to live there? Mr. Clever does. Oh, I'm so very, very clever to build such a clever house. He used to be to go around telling everybody. One morning, Mr. Clever was awakened by his special Mr. Clever arm clock. Not only he did it wake you up, but it also switched on the light and said good morning and made a cup of tea and showed what the weather was going to be and, and told you the time. It showed you the date. It also was. It also was dead carefully while it was. It was doing all that. Mr. Clever Young got up, washed, cleaned his teeth with his special Mr. Clever toothbrush. With paste and the brush out of the handle. I went downstairs for breakfast. Pop sliced the bread into a special Mr. Clever electric toothbrush. Not only took the bread, but also spread. With butter and marmalade and cut off the chest. After breakfast, he went for a long walk and to draw a very long walk. In fact, such a long, long walk that he walked all the way out of clever then. And he I thought he, he didn't know it. He met somebody who was also for a walk. You know who it was? That's right, Mr. Happy. Hello, Clever, Mr. Clever. I'm the cleverest person in the world. Oh, good, said Mr. Happy. Then you must be clever enough to make me a, a really good joke to tell me. He laughed. Jokes make me happy, he explained. Mr. Clever's face then. I don't know any jokes, he landed. Well, that's not very clever of you, is it? He said, Mr. Happy, went off. Mr. Clever went And do you know who he met next? That's right, Mr. Greedy. Hello, cried Mr. Clever. 
I'm the kindest person in the world. Hello, good, said Mr. Piggy. Then you can tell you the recipes of a most most delicious dish. Is this? I like food, he explained. Mr. Clever's face fell. I can't cook, man. I and I don't know any recipes. Well, that's not very clever of you, is it, said Mr. Greedy? Wendell is search of food. Mr. Clever Wendell. And who do you think he met next? Yes, Mr. Forgetful. Hello, cry, Mr. Clever. I'm the cleverest person in the world. Oh, good, sir, Mr. Forgetful. And you can tell me what my name is, he smiled and Jim Cool. I forgot on he explained. Mr. Clever's face fell. The first time that morning. But I don't know your name, he might just met. Well, that's not very clever of you, is it? said the shepherd. And he went to and he too went up. Forgot to say the bar. And so it went all on all day. Mr. Club couldn't tell Mr. Smith the curl of coal. And he couldn't tell Mr. Small how he could grow bigger. And he couldn't tell Mr. Jelly the secret of being brave was. He couldn't tell Mr. Popsy Charlie how to walk the round way right. I mean the right way around. A not very clever day. Not at all. Not a bit. As by now he was feeling anything but his well clever person well, Mr. Clever decided the better man from the cast a pair of worms. Who were having a chat? Who's that? asked one one. That replied the other one. It's Mr. Clever, the clearest person in the world. On his way home to Clever, first of all, but he can't be that clever, he replied. He's going the wrong way! The end. Well, look at your well, piece of grab and thumbs up. We'll see you soon. Thanks.